Hey Internet! My name is Raphaelius. I live in Switzerland and in this video I will show you how to fire up and drive down the road with my self-made steam carriage smoking Lila. Lila comes not with the regular combustion engine. Here we have an engine that works with the pressure of heated water called steam. So let's now light up the fire. Before we can use some charcoal we need a lot of wood. To set the wood on fire we need some barbecue lighters. Throw it in the firebox and after waiting a few seconds we fill up with little pieces of wood. What I'm doing now is mounting an electric air blower on the top of the chimney. This gives the fire enough oxygen. Later we will remove this fan and use steam to build a powerful air suction through the charcoal fire. At this moment we have to check if the water is in the right level and maybe fill it up with fresh water. I prefer to use osmotic water, which is even better than distilled water. This is the best way to never get some scale into the boiler, the pipes and the engine. Further, let's check if all valves are closed. We have to fire with wood until we have reached a boiler pressure of approximately 60 psi. This will take about 30 minutes. In the meantime, we can mount some missing parts of the carriage. The parts are missing because of the large size of smoking Laila. My workshop door is only 80 cm in width, so I made the seat bench removable. Also an exhaust pipe extension and the rear view mirror has to be mounted. Now it's also time to pump up the tires and fill up the head and rear lamps with lamp oil. What I'm doing now is letting out some condensed water to fill it later up with oil. Now here comes the water. And water is out. Put the screw back in. The most important thing is lubricating that engine. Because if you may know, water is not a lubricant. I use the honey-like steam oil and fill it with the pump in this little container. Later, the steam will circulate in between this little oiler and take some small drops of oil to the pistons. Here we have two oscillating cylinders. The piston is getting steam from the boiler when moving forward and backward. So we reached about 4 bars, which is approximately 60 psi, and now I begin to throw some charcoals into the fire to get a much hotter flame. After this, let's remove the electric blower and open the steam blower valve to suck a huge amount of oxygen through a fire which makes the coal fire burning really hot. Here you can see our two safety valves which both will blow up at 87 psi. This is your best life insurance and will prevent you for very bad injuries by a horrible explosion of the boiler. To get sure that the valves are correctly working, I take a screwdriver beating gently against the valves. If a little amount of steam blows out, everything could be okay. Now we reach the red area of the manometer and the safety valves should blow off a lot of steam. Meanwhile, about an hour is gone, the boiler temperature is about 120 degrees Celsius and we are ready to start the engine. But there's one thing you should know. The last time the engine cooled down, a small amount of steam was condensed into the cylinders and some pipes. As you may know, water is, instead of steam, not able to compress. So, if we would now just move the pistons, maybe the cold water would cause huge damage to the cylinders. For this case, we have some valves on the cylinder, which we can open up to blow off the water. Before we further open the main steam valve gently until we can watch the old water blowing off. These wheels came from an old moped and the best thing is that you can ungear the engine from the wheels. This is very useful for moving and ranking the carriage. But now we must release the nipple to clutch in the gear. So let's take a seat. By the way, you could be the passenger, because it's a double seater. Before riding down the road, we can tell everybody around that we will start right now. So let's push on this arm to blow the old church organ whistles. 
The tiny lever is for the very loud and high-pitched whistle. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell! Now finally, open the main steam valve and go for a ride. Ladies and gentlemen, full steam ahead! To not crash against the tree, you can use this little crank to steer the front wheel. Steam locomotives are directly driven, but what we have here is a very modern continuous variable gear called New Vinci. Originally it's made for bicycles, but it's the best thing I mounted on the smoking Lila. With this lever in down position, you have very high torque to climb some hills. You know, I'm in Switzerland. <laughs> Otherwise, you can speed up to 10 miles per hour and be careful not to lose your head. <laughs> to stop the carriage, we have two brakes on the rear wheels. The left one is handled by this lever. The other one comes as a foot panel with a cable. From time to time, we have to check if the fire is burning very well and feed a few pieces of coal into the firebox. Using steam is using water, which we must fill up from time to time. Layla is equipped with a so-called injector, which uses very special nozzles and condensing steam to push cold water against the boiler pressure and feed it up without using some moving parts in itself. Just open the steam injector valve and it should do the job very well. Here you can see the tank containing about 5 liters of cold water. The level gauge I've made of a floater and a brass rod. But if you pump cold water into a hot boiler, it will cool down and reduce pressure until you heat up the new water again. So be careful not to feed too much water at one time and always keep the fire burning as hot as you can. But first priority is to take care that the water level never, never falls below the lower margin. Otherwise, in the worst case, the boiler could overheat, metal will begin to glow and explode under the steam pressure. Not sure if you can survive such an explosion. After the last ride for today, we have to clean up the firebox from cinder and ash. By the way, I really hate this to do. I hope you enjoyed this little journey of firing up my steam powered carriage and driving down the road. I would be pleased if you would like to share, like and subscribe to my channel. And see you soon in another episode with full steam ahead. Your Raphaelius from Switzerland. Wee weep. <laughs>
смокнула, блядь. Бум!